Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time and welcome to the City of Toronto. Thank you so much. What have you noticed so far about the city as you're getting settled, your family's getting settled in? Uh, amazing city. Uh, we had a great weather over here in September. Uh, the fall is beautiful and uh, people are so kind and nice. Uh, and you can feel that, that there is uh, so much love and passion uh, about the game of basketball and uh, huge support uh, with the, for, for the Toronto Raptors. Darko, when I ask people around the league about who you are, they are always filling you with glowing response of he's a player's coach, someone that knows the game super well. What can fans expect of this level of leadership that's coming to the city now? Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to, to help every single player on the team, uh, to help our team, to help our organization. Um, I'm a very unselfish person and I want my teams to play the same way and to act the same way. When we talk about your way, your era, what are players expected to bring to the table to make sure that it fits into your system? Uh, this is not my, my era, this is our era. This is about team and uh, I'm going to do a really good job of communicating with players, getting everybody on the same page, having everybody to understand. But I also want to listen to, to players and learn from them what, what best uh, fits, fits them. Uh, we're going to play exciting style of basketball. We're going to take a lot of pride representing the city and, uh, and Canada and uh, we're going we're gonna to make this city proud. When you sit down with Bobby, but also Masai, what have they kind of briefed you on in terms of their expectations of direction with this group? Uh, all they want is uh, for us to, to be extremely competitive every single night, uh, to, to have a process of uh, getting better and improving, and uh, there are no limits on this team what we can achieve. You know, we have our thoughts on what we see of different players while they're on the court, but also in the off season. What were your first impressions of the leadership group in OG and Pascal and then also your vets and Thad? Uh, everybody cares so much about the team. Uh, they're great guys. Uh, they care about winning. Uh, they care about the city. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, coaching those guys day in, day out. You know, you had experience, obviously, with Memphis, a lot of young guys, and you have those keys, too, with some, some pretty good, exciting talent. Uh, what excites you the most about being a part of their development journey? Uh, the potential of players and reaching that potential. For me, uh, the most exciting thing is seeing that player is getting better and improving and that he's helping the team. Uh, so I'm going to be focused on that, getting those guys better. And Darko, obviously it's media day. You're not new to this space, but this is obviously a new role that you're stepping into. What are you learning about yourself during this time? Um, I'm learning uh, how to organize my time. <laughs> uh, the, the day looks uh, looks short. Uh, yes. 30, uh, 36 hours would be perfect the length of the day to get everything done. So I'm just trying to be the, the best organized and efficient that I can be. Well, Darko, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. But again, congratulations and welcome to the city of Toronto. Thank you so much. Thank you.